Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this channel Sambit PhD where I share videos and interviews about studying and living in Netherlands, Germany, all over Europe. So today we have Ajit uh, from, he's currently doing a PhD in the Netherlands, but now we are in Germany in the Ruhr University Bochum where I'm also doing a postdoc in the beautiful botanical garden which you can see in the background. So in this video we'll specifically cover about his experience of applying for a PhD directly from India. Uh, how he applied for the PhD and uh, how he got the PhD directly from India in the Netherlands. So let's move to the... Uh, uh, introduction of Ajit. So Ajit, can you please briefly tell uh, where are you from and uh, what's your background of education in India? Like where you studied your bachelor's, master's and then finally came here. Um, so, uh, thank you Samvid Bhai for your invitation and for having me today. Um, so, I am Ajit uh, from Odisha. I did my bachelor uh, from Barampur University in Geology and I did my master's uh, from IIT Bombay in Biotechnology. And before um, getting this uh, PhD position, I was working as a junior research fellow for a short period of time. Uh we will discuss in the next video about his details of his experience of doing PhD in Netherlands and what is his topic of PhD. But for now, can you please tell like in one line, uh, what's your uh, topic of PhD here? So I'm doing my PhD uh, in chemistry department. Uh, mostly my um, uh, projects are based on solid state NMR. Okay. So... Why did you choose to come to Netherlands specifically to do a PhD and how did you come to know about this program and how did you apply for this program? So, um, Netherlands was not my choice. Uh, Netherlands was not my first option to do PhD, but um, I was looking for positions um, in my field on which I did my uh, master's thesis. Um, so I almost applied in uh, all over Europe, um, like with uh, on, like in mostly different groups. And for Utrecht University, um, I uh, found this open position uh, in professor's web page and I mailed him if he has open positions and with my um, resume and then I got a um, response from him for interview. And I had uh, two rounds of interviews uh, for these positions. Uh, so, as you said, like you emailed the professor, uh, so what were the basic application requirements uh, and then we can focus more on like, did you have an interview, which you already said that you had two rounds of interview. So, do we remember anything specific about the PhD interview? So, maybe first tell the application requirements and yeah. then the PhD interview. So, as I mentioned, I mailed to professors, so uh, they didn't ask me uh, like specifically any requirements, but to do PhD, you need master's degree uh, that they asked if I completed my master's or not, mm -hmm. or like because they wanted to hire me uh, like after two months, so they wanted to make sure if I already have completed my master's okay. or not. Yeah, that's true, because uh, in Europe, you definitely need a master's, master's degree to do a PhD. Do PhD. And, and um, so if you um, apply uh, um, PhD positions through university, you definitely need a TOEFL or ILAT for uh, English uh, proliferancy. But as I uh, mailed to professor, so specifically he didn't ask me to, um, uh, didn't ask for the TOEFL or ILAT. Okay. And uh, yeah, I had uh, interviews and after my interviews, uh, they asked uh, me uh, my recommendation for like two from two professors. And um, generally, I just um, attached the professor's mail ID mm -hmm. uh, uh, on my resume so that they can directly contact, contact. them for my um, um, recommendation later. So yeah, and I didn't... Um, submit any motivational or uh, cover, letter. Uh, cover letter or anything to them. So it was only On uh, interview, the resume and your... uh, interview and resume and uh, recommendation letter. 
So maybe if you email, maybe that's how it is. But when you apply officially in the portal, then most of the time you need to upload a two-page uh, cover letter or a and motivation, motivation letter. letter PhD, yes, yeah. and if you if you apply through university, yeah, mm -hmm. that that's how definitely they yeah. ask to upload that thing. And uh, what about the interview? Like, what was the experience of the interview? Uh, I uh, yeah, so it's already been a long time. So I um, because I think it started in twenty nineteen, yeah, right? No, twenty twenty. So mm -hmm. it's already uh, two more than two years. So I exactly don't remember the interview questions, but mostly they were uh, about my thesis, my experience, and what did he, what did I have um, in my master's course because they they uh, specifically um, wanted some quotes uh, chemistry and mathematics because my department comes under chemistry department mm -hmm. and as my background is biotechnology so they wanted to make sure if I had mathematics in my intermediate and bachelor and master's okay so like some prerequisites which yeah you yeah okay uh, did they also ask you something specific about the project or the program that you are applying for? Like any knowledge about the uh, NMR or whatever you are doing? Yeah, now? so um, I was doing my master thesis in solution state NMR and I applied PhD here for solid state, okay. uh, which are totally different, different category. And so they just uh, asked me if I have any experience on in solid state NMR and uh, what are they like what experience i had mm -hmm. uh, and solicit nmr is very broad mm -hmm. so for master students they didn't also expect a lot of things but just basic uh, i mean in general experience so okay okay so uh, thank you, Ajit, for joining us and sharing your experience. I think many people ask me how you get directly PhD from India in the Netherlands, so it will be very helpful for them. Uh, if you uh, like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with each other so that everyone gets all this information, which is very informative. And goodbye from Ruhr University, Germany. Peace. Bye.